What do you mean, love? I mean the opposite of when you say, I don't like this place. It feels spooky. I don't ever say that. I like spooky. Big spooky family. The plan. Operation Lovebirds. Watch out for that pedestrian! Ah! She's on the street. She knows the risk she's taking. I know the angel you were. The angel you knew is not me. Beautiful nebula. Look at that. I helped build that one. Can I hear a wahoo? Right, the M25 is now an impossible burning ring of infernal fire, and that's my fault. Jane Austen wrote books too. You people, I will never get the hang of you lot. <laughs> Seems legit to me. Nah. nah. That's not like a good. Nah. <laughs> Oh, that went down like a lead balloon. Agnes Nutter! Yes, I took it! Well, you have it? Oh, oh well, souvenir! I, you can... Hey, it's the RFLC fan ride. Nice dress, suits you. Hello. You hit someone. I didn't. Somebody hit me. Take a big cup, put six shots of espresso into it, nothing else. That sounds fun. Does it calm you down? Not really. So what, what exactly is your point? My point is... Uh, my point? is dolphins. That's my point. Big brains. So there's a f damn big brains. It's not, not to mention the whales. Brain City, Wales. You didn't have to do that. You could have just asked her. What? Of course, of course, no. Yeah, excuse me, ma'am. We're two supernatural entities just looking for the notorious son of Satan. Wonder if you might help us with our inquiries. Stunning view. Oi, Shem! That unicorn's gonna make a run for it! Oh, it's too late. It's too late! It's too late. Why, well, you still got one of them! But what am I? You're just an angel who goes along with heaven as far as he can. That sounds um, lonely. No. But you said it wasn't. I'm a demon. I lied. No more Albert Hall. No more Glyndebourne. Just celestial harmonies. Something's changed. Oh, it's a new cologne. My barber suggests. No, no, I know what you smell like. Oh, Lord, heal this by Angel! If any harm comes to us here, fell because of this, I will. Yes? <sighs> oh, it doesn't matter. It's too late for that now, isn't it? You are damned forever! Unless... 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 Stars everywhere! <laughs> <laughs> Stars crashing down! And what are they putting in bananas these days? The only thing I like best about time is that every day it takes us further away from the 14th century. I really didn't like the 14th century. You'd have loved it then. Yeah. You didn't have any cars back in the 14th century. Lovely. Clever human people inventing cars. Oh. Beelzebub's not happy with you. Oh, really? Beelzebub? Not happy? But they're always such a little ray of sunshine. Excuse me. Why? Like the old times. Only even nicer. <laughs> right. And you told him just where he could stick it then. Was that a travel suite? No. When Jane released the Bohemian Rhapsody on. Ah, oh, well, let's get started. No need to be shy, sitters. I'm a professional uh, midwife slash cobbler. You know what you've done. You've disappointed me. Oh dear, oh dear. Everyone, say goodbye to your friend. You just couldn't cut it. Oh, this is gonna hurt you so much more than it will hurt me. You guys, 
grow better. See, well, all good things. Uh, just I'm back. I've got a spade. If the two of you are still here in 10 seconds, I'll use it on you. <laughs> I like you. Didn't you let us stop you? What are you doing in this bookshop? A mighty wind from the wilderness to smite the mansion and bring it down upon them. Oh, aren't you brilliant? What a hard rain. I didn't really fall, I just, you know sauntered vaguely downward. Most of it won't even be visible from Earth. Build out the shoeite. Need any shoes? What does the J stand for? Uh, just a J, really. <laughs> First visit to Earth, is it, by any chance? When Aziraphale does come back, I think we need a little us time. After all this, I think we are going for an extremely alcoholic breakfast at the Ritz. Avaunt, foul demon! In the name of the Almighty, I command thee, be gone! No. No. No, thank you. See, I have a permit. <laughs> Animals. Animals don't kill each other with clever machines, Angel. Only humans do that. Afflan of Scotland, when will we see your likes again? Right, come on, let's get cracking. Angel, Angel, say something that convinces her that poverty is an ineffably wonderful life is worth living. Go on! You're a good lad. Not actually, either. What are you planning? Wait and see. Wait and see. Have you any idea how irritating that is? Yes. Uh, I will curse God. Whoa! 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 That never ends well. When it's all over, you've got to deal with eternity. My miracles aren't working. Neither am I. Everyone that stretches the truth a bit in memos to head office, you know that. Yes, but you told them you invented the Spanish Inquisition and started the Second World War. So the humans beat me to it, that's not my fault. Look at you, you're gorgeous. Hmm. I'm not taking you to hell, Angel. Why not? Well, I don't think you'd like it. No! Word with you, Angel, in private. It's a big universe. You know, this all ends up in a puddle of burning goo, we can go off together. I mean, if Gabriel and Beelzebub can do it, go off together, then we can. You have sinned very bigly. Did they vavoom? I think it's fair to say, Jim, but vavooming was not the end result of that particular tempest. Jim? Jim? Do we know Jim? Hi there. Ah, Gabriel! What am I gonna do with 90 guineas? Buy a farm! And be good. Not just pretendy good, that properly good. Well, I don't suppose anyone could object to me you know, putting a note into the suggestion box. Shall I summarize? <laughs> Satan and his diabolical ministers uh, may destroy everything Joe Bones, no questions asked, hugs and kisses God. Little demonic miracle of man. Lift home. Do you need a lift somewhere? You remember Jane Austen? Hmm. Oh, I forget her now, really. Hmm. Brains behind the 1810 Clark and Well Diamond robbery. Brandy smuggler, master spy. Mm -hmm. oh, what a piece of work. She wrote books, novels. Jane Austen? Yes. Oh, a bit of a dark horse. Novels, eh? Yes, they were very good. Well, I mean, no, I'm just surprised. That's all. What do you think you know, someone? She had balls. Well, everybody turning into bully boo. Bully boo. Bully boo. Bully boo. Bully boo. Wait, fish stew. Anyway. Do you think he knows? Probably comes here to stare at it, marvelling at his own beauty. You can stay at my place, if you like. Lost it already, have you? Gave it away. You what? I gave it away. Are you actually going through with this? Indeed I am. Can I watch? I want to. I long to destroy the blameless children of Blameless Joe. 
just as I destroyed his blameless goats. What do you want? Oh, come on, Mr. Dalrymple. It's not brain surgery. We're on opposite sides. We're on our side. There is no our side, Crowley. We're a team, a group. A group of the two of us. And we've spent our existence pretending that we aren't. Constitution of an ox. Well, I don't need laudanum to kill oh, myself. Oh, no dying. Enough dying. No more dying. No more dying. Dying is just... It's just, it's just wrong. It isn't about Armageddon, this is personal. We are fucked. The clarinet can make beautiful music. You are still a demon then? What kind of stupid question is that? Still a demon? What else am I going to be? An aardvark? Put on the cuffs, I'll go quietly. I forgive you. Don't bother. You've been together long? Hmm? You and your partner? Oh, no, no, it's not like, it's not like that. It certainly looks like that from here. Oh, so you've just recently hooked up? No, you... We, you've got a husband or a boyfriend? Is the book selling your bit on the side? He's not my bit on the side. It's far too pure of hardly anybody's bit on the side. He's just an angel. I know. And they say, so long, sucker! Wherever you are, I'll come to you. Where are you? And why don't we go into your shop and discuss it there? Um, because there's a naked man there? For the record, great pustulant mangled bollocks to the great blasted plan! I'm getting the humans out of here and then I'm coming back. I won't leave you on your own. I know. Large Talisker, please. And a sherry for Lady Brack. Such a pity that hell never really appreciated your talents, Crowley. It is? It is, yeah. <laughs> you think you're a demon? <laughs> With your curly little and unique work. Shall we? No, we shan't. It's ridiculous. And the precious, peaceful, fragile existence that I have carved out for myself here. I thought we carved it out for ourselves. So did I! Could literally climb every mountain over and over and over and over and over and over and over. I'm going home, Angel. I'm getting my stuff and I'm leaving. And when I'm off in the stars, I won't even think about you! Reach into his robes. Look, higher. Higher. Uh, a little higher? That's it. And pull out three of his ribs. Your life is worth a lot more than seven pounds five shillings. Hmm. Well, is a life worth more than 27 pounds and five shillings? Get out of the way! There's only room for one of us in this lane, and it's not you. Don't give them bread, you idiot! Ducks shouldn't eat bread. What do you meant to give them then? Frozen peas. What? That's what you feed ducks. Frozen peas. They love them. And it's good for them too. That's just how it started for me. See you in hell. Hell has sent demons. People will get hurt, Angel. What you just did is remarkable. I don't have the foggiest notion how it's done. <laughs> You're a funny-looking angel. Aren't I just? Are you a demon? Oh, she's good. Uh, yes, well, uh, he is. In fact, technically, a demon. Spot on. Sent here to destroy you all. I wrote it down. Walls have ears. Well, not walls, trees have ears. Ducks have ears. Do ducks have ears? Busted. So they hear other ducks. He seems nice. I like to think none of this would have worked out if you weren't at heart, just a little bit, a good person. And if you weren't, deep down, just enough of a bastard to be worth knowing. Cheers. To the world. To the world. Shades of grey. Shades of dark grey. Mine is all very comfortable. You know, Crowley, 
I've always said that deep down, you really are quite a nice... Shut it! I'm a demon, I'm not nice. I'm never nice. Nice is a four-letter word. I will not... Godfather. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> it's not that bad when you get used to it. Might have slightly overdone it on the whole. You are my car. I've had you from new. You are not going to burn. Don't even think of it. His royal smugness is in trouble. That's so sad. I never asked to be a demon. I just mind my own business one day and then... Ah, oh, look at here. It's Lucifer and the guys. Somebody killed my best friend. Bastards! I am a demon. Maybe I'm lying. Tell you what, let's find out. My car does not make that noise. What are you doing to it? Good luck. What did you do to them all? I did the thing with the halo. You what? I did the thing with the halo. You, you blew up your halo. <laughs> oh, hell no, like that. Are you trying to tempt me? Not at all, angels can't be tempted, can you? Hello. Where did you come back from? Outside. But how would I... You say, I arrest you, anything you say, blah, 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 blah. Good job, you've arrested me. I have? You said, blah, 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 blah. It's all right, officer. I'll come quietly. So, what are you in the mood for now? Alcohol. Quite extraordinary amounts of alcohol. Excellent idea. More murders. I'll drink to that. Go on, then. I'm a lonely GI, anxiously awaiting the arrival of the ladies of Camelot. Amaze me. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> Go on, Mr. British man. Wow me with your miracles. Last time we met, you seemed pretty confident I couldn't destroy Job's goats. Yes, I was wrong. Technically, you can, but oh. then technically, I will. Well, let's have lunch. Hmm? I said, how do you want from Paris, 1793? Well, perhaps you could tell me while we dance. You don't dance. <laughs> I don't have clearance. You'd have to be a throne or a dominion or above. How she do that? I haven't always been a demon. And they never change their passwords. Holy water won't just kill your body, it will destroy you completely. You tell me what you think. A hundred and five years ago. Keep a derringer in the bookshop inside a hollowed out book. In case I get into a scrape. You read too many books. This isn't good. Well, depending on your point of view. You say potato, I say excellent. My side are gonna love a spot of booty snatch. You are out of order! Seemed like a good idea when we're all talking about it. Um. Phil's bookshop. We probably don't have what you're looking for, and we wouldn't sell it to you if we did. Fermenting descent and discord. King Arthur's been spreading too much peace and tranquility in the land, so I'm here. You know, fermenting. Or would you like a wee hand with your cops? So you just popped across the channel during a revolution because you wanted something to nibble. Did you miss me? I bet you did. I'm sure it did. It's not a problem. It's tickety-boo. Absolutely tickety-boo. Tickety-boo? Right, how you go. Right. That was a thing. You were right. You were right. I was wrong. You were right. OK. My car is not yellow. It has never been yellow. It is not going to start being yellow now. Change it back! But it's pretty. If you don't change it back right now, I'm gonna start selling people books. In fact, I might even give some away. You, my Nefertiti fooling fellow, are about to perform on the West End stage. If that doesn't make you a professional conjurer, I don't know what does. This is Anthony Crowley, you know what to do, do with style. You could smite me. When Gabriel smites you, you've been Smited? Smoked? Smitten, I believe. You're being silly. 
You're a funny one, mister. Oh, doctor. I'm not a surgeon. Something meant to happen. All right, sorry, yes, yes. You have missed one. <laughs> Let there be light. And I do remember, oh, very clearly, the look on your face. Archangel Gabriel. When you told my only friend to shut his stupid mouth and die. And I did not care for it. Funny old world, isn't it? <laughs> you mean like a sudden rainstorm forces them together beneath a canopy. They look into each other's eyes and realize they were made for each other. Sounds a bit unlikely. We can run away together. Alpha Centauri. Lots of spare planets up there. Nobody'd even notice us. Did you go to Alpha Centauri? No, I changed my mind. Stuff happened. I lost my best friend. You know, Alpha Centauri is nice. I always wanted to go there. A couple of decent planets. No nightlife to speak of. Right. What's the problem? Problem? You said there was a problem. Tone of voice. You have three reasons for calling me. You're bored, you need to tell someone about something clever you did before you pop, or something's wrong. This was your something's wrong voice. I think it's about to happen. The awning of a new age. Then this is your lucky day! Shoemaking and obstetrics. Those have always been the twin passions of Bill Dad the Shoeite. What seems to be the trouble? I'm zero for God's for Satan! Ah, for somebody's sake, where are you? Suspicion slides off him, right? Uh, whatever it is, water slides up. Ducks. What about ducks? Yeah, what well, water slides off. You look like you might have a steady hand. No. Ah, yes. I don't suppose that anywhere in the nine circles of hell there's such a thing as a rubber duck. No? No. Oh, you said trust me. And you did. You idiots send an idiot to lead a gang of idiots to attack a bookshop. Those idiots there want their archangel back so they can fire him. Officer, I need to report a crime. You should know why you're about to die. God has abandoned you. The God who claims to love you, who demands your praise, has given you up to be destroyed. How much trouble can I get into just for asking a few questions? I only ever ask questions. I brought down every London area mobile phone network tonight. Call a zero fail. Calling a zero fail. Sorry, all lines to London are currently busy. Why are you telling me all this? I don't understand. That's why she's telling you. But because you don't understand. Because you and Mr. Fell don't ever talk to each other. We talk all the time. We've been talking for millions of years. I say something brilliant, he says something unintentionally funny back. Screw it. No, 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 no. No. Get humans wet and staring into each other's eyes. Vavoom. Sorted. I saw it near Richard Curtisville. Vavoom. You're welcome to look all you want from there. Maybe you'll spot an archangel. And then the Almighty will fix it. That won't happen. You're so clever! How can somebody as clever as you be so stupid? You idiot. We could have been... us. This isn't one of Shakespeare's gloomy ones, is it? Oh, no wonder nobody's here. here. I'll just squeeze that bit there, hang on. Didn't you fight the gun before? Not as such. Don't you dare step on me! I see you! I'm small, aren't I? Angel, what are you doing? Actually, I rather thought I might take the car. What car? Our car. We don't have a car. Of course we do. Isn't she a beauty? This Bentley is my car. What is your professional opinion on that, Doctor? Well, in my professional opinion, that seems to be... I say it seems to be a... Um... No, what do you think? Oh, yes, it's working. Uh, well, 
and the feeling is mutual. Obviously. Obviously. You're in trouble. Obviously. Do something! I am having a moment here. You have sinned very bigly. Trying to kill yourself? I, I mean, it's, it's not on! <sighs> Jump out that window. All right. Not the kids. You can't kill kids. No one will have noticed a thing. I'm here. I'm here. That was very kind of you, Crowley. You saved that young woman. Not kind. Off my head on laudanum. Not responsible for my actions. Listen. Hear that? I don't hear anything. That's the point. No nightingales. A nightingale.